and hello this is Vignesh Kumar again with another interesting tutorial video uh, which is going to convert a PDF to Word Word to XML okay now in front of us we have Epsilon Epsilon is a text editor we all know very well uh, we can use Epsilon extension language which is kind of C language to do uh, programming so that can help us to improve the uh, speed in our uh, work working style instead of macro we can go with epsilon extension language so now we are going not going to see about the epsilon and we are going to see about how to convert a jazz pdf into xml with using microsoft word so to, to before start the session we know very well how to convert a pdf into word we use before Indeed or Gemini or Agrobat to, to export this we can export here by like clicking export we have multiple options we can directly get XML which is RTF HTML whatever we want we can get but we are really struggling to get the word very right the word which, 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 we, which we need is very tough to get from PDF to Word. We have multiple softwares, but still we are struggling. Once you get the document out, no need to worry about for the XML. Why? Because we have a software over here. So I don't want to make you bored by tagging all these stuffs. Just, just take this. Uh, what do you want? Just click it here. And we have a software over here, which is called Tag Root Node. And we have a paste that copy text over here. So first neat thing is we need to convert this into those formatting. We have italics over here. And then let's have some uh, bolts over here. And underlines. And what do we want? Just add it. Let's let, let, let it to be superscript. Okay, superscript. That's supposed to be subscript. Okay, fine. First, go to here and clean. This, the thing is converted. Just click here. Go to, just select the bus now turned into normal para which we required from the PDF. So this, the whole para now converted here. Which, which we require. So what we have now, so what we can do. So we have fronted, front related tax and body related tax and back related tax. And most commonly what we need to use those kind of tax and tax sets. This tax sets can be used wherever we want. This can be used. And th those are final things, fine. Okay, if, if suppose if I need this to be added as an abstract, so I go here with abstract, just placing the cursor anywhere in the paragraph. So I'm going here to abstract and clicking. So this turned into abstract open in para and abstract close with para close. Sorry, fine, isn't it? So similarly, fine. Similarly, I would like to go and with. Uh, we like to go with the para a list okay let's try some new things which is okay box text so I go with box text box text have this inside the box text what are the possible tags if we don't know just don't worry we have it we have label as a and we have caption and we have another para if, if it is required just select the content Select the content, if you, whatever you want, just do it. Caption with para. It turns into opening and close. So what next? If you have multiple paras, and just for an example, if you have a multiple list, consider this is a list. So we have a list with different 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 data that that need to be tagged so don't worry go and select this we have order list another list bullet alpha upper alpha lawyer roman and loman lawyer so i would like to go with bullets so it turns into bullet if you see here it turns into bullet with all opening closings okay now so i would like to have a 
table over here. If, if, you, if you have a table, just go here, select whatever you want, just add the data. So I'm, I'm adding a data, why because? I don't wanna make you bored by converting into, um, what to say, from PDF to things, I'm just randomly adding some data and collect. Okay, now what? Now we have center element, and right element, and center element, and right element. Let me access right element. Fine, we have different, different elements, different elements. This need to be converted into table, so it takes around uh, some times to convert, so I don't want to, uh, I don't have time, so I click in this table, this turned into table. With element left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, goes, and it completed. If you wish want to see all this data, it's so colorful, so for, for, for better understanding, just click the view, and click OK, this turned into colorful. Is it cool, right? Okay, next, what is the most complex thing? In, uh, in, most irritating that bloody thing is reference. Similarly, just copy this and paste it over here. Just convert the um, formatting and select. Boost turned into single para. So now, this is most important. Just let make it multiple references. So this is multiple references. For each one, we need to tag, right? So click reference alone, then this turned into reference, which is reference mixed citation. Inside the whole data pop up here, and the same copy pop up here with element citation public tag. If it is article, we call we will tag as article or journal, book or collab, whatever it is. Okay, it's, it is up to the reference type. Then we can start our tagging. So click here, just click the button and person group and select, sorry, select string name, excuse me, select and string name. Then this supposed to be surname and give a name. So likewise it goes. So next it is to be year and this supposed to be until here the article title. So click article title and next would be source title source code source and this is page number we know well very well. So first page, okay. Similarly for all the cases, reference, so then the reference, and then reference, and then reference. Okay, what next? We have converted, we have tagged all these things, but we missed to tag the reference IDs. Oh, so sad. So don't worry, just click this. We have a reference ID over here, here. Just click the reference ID, then it turns it to one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So no problem, it turns into one, two, three. Okay, what next? If it's converted, if you're fully satisfied, then go with, which means author name and year link. Just click the num link, it turns into number link with the corresponding reference ID. So I don't want to make it bored, so uh, which is already we have a video how to uh, link the references using Microsoft Word. We have already placed a video over there, so take a look. And shut up and sit down.